Traits. Beliefs and instincts are personality and behaviour priorities for characters. Traits are also a kind of priority. By choosing traits, a player is stating to the world, this is what's most important to me about my character. These are his most prominent aspects. There are three kinds of traits. Character, including cosmetic traits. Call on and die traits. Each type affects the game in a different way. Character traits. A character trait illustrates a prominent aspect of a character's psychological or physiological makeup. Something that affects how the character will be roleplayed at the table. Something that says, you're not just someone, you're it. Anyone can say his character is hairy, but unless he pays the trait point, it's hairy with a lowercase h. Pay the point, and he's the hairiest guy around. These are guideposts that help the player navigate play with the character. By choosing these traits, the player is stating that he is going to do one of two things. Either he's going to play those traits to the hilt, he's going to exemplify them, or he's saying his character is starting with these traits, but he's about to change. In the second case, character traits are used as the crux for creating all sorts of problems for his character in-game. He's going to use his traits to get his character into situations where he has to make hard decisions. Do I go with my nature, or do I fight against it? This is fueled for some very fine play, and the system supports this behaviour. Flighty, determined and brutal are examples of character traits. Character traits also serve another important role. They add necessary colour to the game. They help capture our imaginations and immerse us in the story. Cosmetic traits. Cosmetic traits are character traits that describe how a character looks. Not every character needs to have cosmetic traits to describe his appearance. Without them, we assume the character is normal looking within typical variations. A cosmetic trait is used to describe something on the character that really stands out. Call on traits. This type of trait is powerful and subtle. When its conditions are met, traditional game mechanics are set aside to either break a tie in the call on trait having character's favour, or allow the player to re-roll failed dice on one test. Revered is a call on for oratory. When delivering speeches to the faithful or gullible, the player may call on this trait to re-roll failed dice once per session. Players decide when and how they'll call on this type of trait, hence the name. Call-ons may only be invoked once per session. They are a powerful aid, representing an unpredictable edge the character possesses. Die traits. Die traits modify an ability in the same way every time they are used. Either they add a die or two, change a game mechanical number, an obstacle or hesitation, or grant a new ability, or a new way to roll dice. Mechanical reward. Traits are more mechanical in nature than beliefs and instincts, but they too can be used to leverage Arta. As you know, that's all discussed in the next section, the Arta Wheel. Changing traits and earning new ones. It is important that characters grow and change through play. In Burning Wheel, the outward perception of how a character was played is just as important as the player's inward perception of what he thinks the character is all about. Trait Vote The way the character is played changes him. This can be a deliberate effort on the part of the player to change his character via his role-playing, or an unintended side effect. At the end of a campaign or extended adventure, the GM and the players nominate characters to receive new traits. Going around the table, players discuss each character who participated in the adventure. Possible traits are suggested for all the characters. After all characters have been discussed, the players vote on the traits suggested for each character. The owning player doesn't vote for his own traits. A unanimous decision grants the trait. Character, call on and die traits can be awarded. For short adventures and scenarios, I recommend that characters be allowed only one new trait from the vote. For longer, epic stories, two or three traits is a fair limit. Characters can be awarded traits that change their bodies, scars, a limp, or even missing digits to reflect their in-game experiences. They can and should be awarded character traits according to how the other players perceive their personalities in the course of play. This shouldn't be a punishment, but an honest outward reflection of what's been happening at the table. You can invest in earning certain traits by spending Arta to accomplish your beliefs and instincts. Arta is discussed in the next chapter, the Arta Wheel. Voted off the island. In addition to voting for new traits for a character, the GM or owning player may propose that a character lose a trait. 
If the GM proposes the loss of a trait, a unanimous result is required for the trait to be voted off. If the owning player suggested it, a simple majority will do. Evolving beliefs and instincts. Beliefs and instincts are meant to evolve into traits during the course of play. Spending Arta, which is discussed in the next chapter, on a belief or instinct is a good benchmark for the type or power level of a trait. The more Arthur spent, the more potent the trait. Rate of change. The group can change the rate of development for their characters by increasing the frequency of trait votes. The default setting is to vote after 6 to 12 sessions. Voting after every goal is accomplished, rather than after a series of goals, causes the characters to grow quickly and potentially become more powerful. If the group wishes to play like this, it should be discussed and announced before characters are burned so everyone can tailor their playstyle to this mode. Beliefs, instincts and traits in brief. Belief. A short statement, ethical or moral priority the player assigns to the character. Instinct. An if-then, always, never or when statement that the player assigns to his character to dictate a reaction or course of action. Character trait. A guidepost for role-playing that announces to the group, this is what is important to me about my character. Call-on trait. Breaks ties or allows for a re-roll on a failed test once per session. Die trait. Adds dice, adds or reduces penalties or allows access to additional abilities the character would not otherwise have. Trait vote. At the end of an adventure, players vote on the other character's traits based on how they were played. The Arta Wheel. You've heard so much about it, and here it is. Arta. If the mechanics are the fuel, then the players are the fire. And Arta is the spin of the wheel and the corsication of the flames. It is an interface between GM, player, and system. GMs reward players for driving the story forward, and players reward themselves by using their characters to further complicate the story at hand. Spiritual Rewards in a World on Fire. Burning Wheel uses a point-based reward system. Most often, the points are awarded for creating interesting situations by playing out on and off a character's beliefs and instincts. Arta. The points awarded are called Arta. It's a Sanskrit word that means something equivalent to a person's power and success in his community or his immediate surroundings. It's the middle ground between obsession with self, enlightenment, and transcendence. In the game, it helps the characters overcome obstacles and eventually hone abilities to mythical levels of excellence. There are three types of Arta. Fate, Persona and Deeds, each with their own effect on the game. Interface. While it's cool to be rewarded for doing something neat, there is another more important aspect to the process. The flow of Arta creates a connection between player, character and GM based on themes and issues important to their game. Beliefs, instincts and traits, or bits, are the primary conduit between the player, his character, and the Arta system. Setting out bits for his character, a player states to the GM and the group what his goals in play are for this character. He lets everyone know how and when he wants to be rewarded for playing his character. For example, a player creates a rebellious peasant character with the belief that class is meaningless. When his character encounters his noble betters, everyone can expect trouble. He's going to create it. And because it's one of his beliefs, he'll be rewarded for creating interesting, meaningful, and difficult situations in this vein.